What it do, CSUN Duelists? It's your boy, Wild Jim Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, this video, I'm just going to basically talk about what I think is next for the San Antonio Spurs, what I think should happen, okay? Now, we all know that, you know, you have Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili, Tim Duncan, Greg Popovich, the big four, the big three, okay? Now, we know over the course of the year, they have done great things with each other. They have won championships. So, they have they have success, okay? Now, of course, we all know, I don't care what nobody says, they blew this championship. They had this championship wrapped up in Game 6. They blew it. They even actually blew it in Game 7 also. In also. But, you know, give credit to Miami Heat. They played good. They won a championship. What I think is next for the San Antonio Spurs? Well, I don't, I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, they have to get younger because they are a young fucking team. The only, old, the only people that's old are uh, uh, Tim Duncan and Manu Ginobili. I mean, Tony Parker's only 31 years old. And he's a point guard. It's not like this man has to go out here and do amazing, crazy things, okay? Um, you know, so... Who the fuck is this? So... I just feel like, you know, what they have to do is they have to go out here and get uh, 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 probably another shooting guard. Now, I know Danny Green. I feel like they found a, a shooter in Danny Green. So, I think they're probably going to keep Danny Green around. I mean, I would. You'd be stupid to let this dude go. He can help out in the three-point. I, I know I would. Ginobili, on the other hand, I think it's time to cut ties with Manu Ginobili. I, I really do think so. I mean, because he pretty much just showed that. He is not that same playoff Manu Ginobili that he once was, okay? I think they need to go out and find another shooting guard, okay? Um, even though they would probably have Danny Green. Because if Manu Ginobili come back, only way he can come back is if he, he takes some less, less money. But I feel like they need to go out and find uh, another shooting guard. Now, as far as the point guard position, I actually think I think Gary Neal he does a pretty good job. But if they want to go out there, they have a lot of listen, guys. They have some a lot of cap space available, so they can go out here. I would look into a Jared Jack. Um, I would look into a Brandon Jennings. Even though we know the type of point guard he is, he likes to shoot a lot. But hey, he hey, when he's on, he can score. Um, Jeff Teague, I believe, is a free agent. He's a good point guard. Like, I, but I would, me personally, I would go out to Jared Jack, somebody who can back Tony Parker, but also can score. But I think Jared Jack, he probably just earned his way into a starting position. Um, shit, I even go out to Nate Robinson. Nate Robinson and Tony Parker, that could be pretty good. Um, as far as you know, other positions, I know Tim Duncan. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if he's going to retire or come back. I hope he come back. I, I, I really do. I really do hope that this man come back. Um, I mean. He, he, he's been great for the San Antonio Spurs, and I feel like he can muster out another great season. He just need a little bit more help so where he can rest, and when he come back in, he can do what he do. That's why I feel like, honestly, they should go out to Paul Millsap or Al Jefferson. Those guys are free agents. Al Jefferson is, is a good player. Paul Millsap is a good player. I would go after one of those guys, or either both of them. I mean, you do have Kawhi Leonard, so you have him in place. You know what you're going to get out of Kawhi Leonard. He's going to give you production, offense, defense, rebounding. He's going to give you that. And he's only going to get better, I guarantee it. Now, as far as the center role, um, there's not really too many centers out there. Um, I know Tim Duncan was at times playing center and stuff like that. But there's not too many great centers out there. I mean, you have Tiago Spiller, but unless he develops more on the offensive side of things, then you're going to have to get somebody else in there. But you just need another guy who can either play with Tim Duncan better, and that's why I'm saying uh, Al Jefferson will fit well, I believe, with Tim Duncan, or either somebody who can back Tim Duncan, you know. Um, Al Jefferson, in my eyes, he's actually a starter, so like I said, if he do come in, Tim Duncan can play the center role, Al Jefferson can play the power four role. Like, it's it's so many things that the Spurs can do this offseason because they have cap room to make their team better, um, and I just want to see what they are going to do. Because I don't think they can come with the same. Listen, they can try this again with the same team, but they're just going to need at least two more extra pieces, you know. Because um, it's obvious that Popovich, he's not going to give Dewan Blair time, which I really don't understand why. Um, you know, 
I'm pretty sure T Mag's not going to be there. I'm pretty sure Boris Diaz's not going to be there. But as of right now, they just need another point guard that can back up Tony Parker. They need another shooting guard that can replace Manu Ginobili or even be be a backup for Danny Green. Um, small four row, Kawhi Leonard, cool. Power four row, they need another guy that can back up Tim Duncan, and I gave you a list of names. I mean, it's a lot of people out there. Josh Smith. It's a lot of people. I don't know how much cap room they have available, but they have enough to go out and get some players, okay? Now, um, we just have to see what happens because you know, this 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 hurts. I know it's, this loss is hurting them, but at times it showed where Tim Duncan ran out of gas, Parker and Ginobili, and they just need some some nice solid pieces around them to to you know replace them. So when they get a breather, they can come back in and boom, be fine. Um, if they do those things, I think the Spurs would be good. They they could possibly get right back into the finals because at the end of the day, you have Greg Popovich, a smart coach. Um, but anyway, guys, you tell me what do you think the San Antonio Spurs can do to get better. Um, hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Facebook, check out my previous videos, please. Make sure you go and subscribe to my music channel, YFGM Hip Hop Review. I just did a two more album reviews, and I will be posting them up on both pages. Um, deuces.